dalam tradisi Minangkabau. Setiap anak laki-laki suatu hari akan pergi meninggalkan tanah kelahiran mereka. Dan berjalan cari pengalaman hidup. Pengalaman hidup yang akan membuatnya menjadi lelaki sejati. Apapun yang akan dikatakan orang, belum tentu itu berarti yang paling benar. Kembalilah, nak. Kapanpun kau siap. In the Minangkabau culture, there comes a day that every boy must leave his family behind and face the many challenges in life. Challenges that will guide him towards becoming a man. This journey is known as Marantau. It is the ultimate test of the physical and spiritual in which one uncovers a deeper understanding of the world. Nature becomes the teacher, showing the difference between right and wrong.
story of my son and his journey into manhood. This is his Madan Tao. Nyak rasa Yuda akan baik-baik saja. Pastinya. Ayo. The story is about a young guy named Yuda. He's in his 20s from Sumatra lives with his family on a tomato field. And basically, as part of Sumatran culture in Minangkabau, there's a rites of passage called Marantau. Seperti adat istiadat di Bukit Timur dan sekitarnya di wilayah Sumatera Barat, apabila sudah menginjak dewasa, perlu ada pembuktian bahwa dia memang sudah mandiri dan siap. Dan itu memang harus dibuktikan dengan cara merantau. Gue Iko Wais, di sini main sebagai Yuda. Yuda itu anak orang perantauan dari Minang yang nggak tahu apa-apa tentang Jakarta. Basic ceritanya adalah itu, terus dia uh, pergi dari daerahnya. Dia berasal dari keluarga bersahaja, sederhana, dengan kehidupan yang begitu nyaman, begitu tenang sebagai petani tomat dengan hanya berbekal silat hitam dan putihnya yang diajarkan dari silat benar salahnya diajarkan dari silat itu sebagai betal mentalnya dia untuk berangkat merantau telat itu makanya di sini juga ada yang tertinggal sampai mana kan ada yang tiga yang berbeda kan pakai matras itu pas jatuh begitu kan kalau biasa samping enak kan pas dada bu nyesek bang matras padahal itu back in February last year, I got hired as a freelance director to do a documentary on Penjak Silat. And that was my first introduction to Silat. And while I was doing the research for that, we got to see lots of different styles. And in the documentary, we filmed five different styles in five different areas of, Jakarta, of Indonesia. Went from West Sumatra through to Jakarta and into West Java. Um, and Silat Harimau was one of those stories. And in that documentary, one of the stories for the Silat Harimau was about a young student doing Maranta. Dasar gue tuh sebagai penjak silat, terus ya kebetulan ada sutradara datang ke tempat perguruan, saya dipanggil untuk main film ini. Bapak sutradaranya langsung ngomong ke saya sendiri. Iko, I met through the documentary last year. Uh, Iko was one of them. When I first met him, he was a very shy, sort of humble character. He seemed like a quiet, you know, twenty-year-old guy, and then. Once he put on his Silat uniform and started doing the practice session, he just completely transformed. His eyes became focused, completely concentrated, and I just turned straight away to my producer at the time. He said, like, 
was this guy because he just had a ma he had an amazing natural presence, just a very strong screen presence. So basically, uh, what we're hoping for this film is to have the same effect for Sirat that Ombak did for Muay Thai. So that people in the West start to recognize Panchak Sirat and start to appreciate it. And hopefully, maybe kids, not just in Indonesia, but all over the world, will start to learn Sirat also. Di Indonesia kan, belum ada film action. Wah, tentang Sirat lagi. Udah gitu, kebudayaan kita sendiri. Ya, yang paling pertama, kita punya kebudayaan bela diri silat yang dianggapnya ya yang di nomor paling terakhir dan dianggap kampungan. Yeah. Hong Kong punya Jackie Chan, Asia punya Bruce Lee, uh, Thailand punya Ong Bak. Kita punya apa? Kita nggak punya siapa-siapa. Dan yang membuat saya benar-benar uh, terketuk dan tertarik untuk bergabung sama Gareth adalah bahwa dia orang uh, luar Indonesia, tapi dia ingin mengangkat uh, Nah, mengambil momen itu bahwa Indonesia belum punya siapa-siapa dan kita punya silat. Saya sendiri pengen tunjukin silat itu seperti apa dan nggak kalah menariknya sama bela diri yang lain.